Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne from Australia. This is a prophecy for Kristen. Uh, giddy, g'day, how are you? Um, when uh, I was preparing to do the 17 prophecies that the Lord has me doing tonight, uh, the Holy Spirit impressed upon me to get a pen out and write a scripture reference down for each of the people uh, that will speak to the heart. And uh, this was one, one of the few scriptures that I knew um, was uh, that I knew the reference and what one of the verses was going to say. So this is taken from Psalm 22, verse 6 to 9. And it says, uh, this is a prophecy of Jesus' death on the cross. Uh, David was writing this, but he was writing it prophetically. Uh, and also probably about his own life. Um, so, But it was a prophecy over Jesus. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised by the people. All those who see me ridicule me. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head saying, He trusted in the Lord. That's God. He trusted in God, the Father. Let God, the Father, rescue him. Let him deliver him. Let God deliver Jesus since he delights in him. But, but you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while on my mother's breast. Um, now, the Lord for many years took me to Psalm 22.6 and kept on saying that verse to me. Uh, in the recently, in the last few months, many people have risen up against me and called me a false prophet and... Um, Many people are watching their videos and reading their blogs, and um, it hurts. And today it says, but I am a woman, no man, a reproach of men, despised by the people. And this is becoming true in my life. But that's enough about me, Kristen. This is about you. So I wonder how this applies. Well, it applies like this. You're a very righteous person. You're a very good-hearted person. And people abuse you, use you, despise you, and reject you. Uh, you've had pain in your past, very traumatic pain in your past, and you've recovered so well that you're just a beautiful person now, and yet you're still rejected, you're still despised, people still use you and abuse you. You're lonely. For good company, you're lonely for good friends. You're having a hard time with life. And yet you're so joyful and you're so bubbly and you're so nice. But it's true, you know, your approach. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head. They say, they mock your Christian faith, they mock your faith, you know. They say, let, let the Lord save you. You've seen as you love the Lord so much, let him be your friend. This is troublesome. This scripture is like a, a prophecy of your life. Uh, but, you, but you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while on my mother's breast. Um, a lot of times you've cried and you said, why? Why was I even born? Why, what, why do you allow this, Lord? Why do you allow this suffering to go on? Do you know, Kristen, there's so many people that can be touched by your story. If you wrote me an email, I'd publish it in a place where people could read it and be encouraged by your faith and your story. If you want to do that and send that to me, I'd love to do that for you. So many people are hurting like you. There's so many people you can help. There is a purpose. There's strangers out there that won't judge you for who you are, but will just weep about your story. If you could be honest and share what you went through, share the traumatic experience that happened in your life, that dark secret that not a lot of people know, 
and you share how you found the Lord and what the Lord does for you now and why you wrote your story, how a guy from Australia did a prophecy and told you to do it. There's so many lives we could touch together. I encourage you to do it. I hope that this prophecy has encouraged you. I hope to hear from you uh, with some feedback and uh, maybe a yes that I'll try that, Matthew. Have a good day.